Okay, good morning, good early in the morning, good afternoon, evening, late night, whatever you are. So let's move to the next topic of this model one. So now let's talk about open phone directory organization. Okay, so how things are organized in your installation that we have this source code. So this is a brief overview. Okay, so you are not lost or if you're feeling curious, you, you, you're going to start to look at your open phone installation so basically when you install open phone okay you are going to have all these directories okay so when you see italic here th these are these are executable files okay and here we have directories okay so as you follow the standard open phone installation you should have the data uh, open phone install in these locations okay so if you are using open phone 9 this is the home directory okay your user directories you are using the developers version will be something like like this okay so in each directory you're going to have very specific files i'm going to address that shortly okay so if you want to get some information you have these commands okay just to know where you have the installation your environment variables okay and so on and not go into details here uh something important that open from you have many aliases or shortcuts to specific commands okay so if you want to know those aliases that you have there and this is can be also something specific as well with, with the linux bash or shell okay so these are the how you can access and know that 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 information okay so now let, let's that, that is the general information let's see what we have in this directory remember this is where we install open fun okay where we put it so in the applications directory you're going to find all the solvers and utilities and also some examples how to program okay so you go there later i'm going to show you and you will have okay basically all, all all the executables okay the source code for, for the executables okay then you have this directory that you have a few scripts okay and here you will find one script that we're going to use a lot which is paraphone okay paraphone for those who knows what, what is this one it's not a program it's just a wrapper that it will call open from with some we, 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 that will call Paraview with some actions, okay? So you have these are executables, okay? Then in DOC or that documentation, you have documentation, okay? Uh, this is the documentation extracted from the source code, okay? By no means this is a, a truthful uh, documentation. Uh, then Etsy, you're going to find, okay, these files and the most important files and directory, but the most important one I think here for those new in and up from this case it's okay here you're going to find templates of all the input files that you're going to see in open phone okay so you will find those templates sometimes it's very well commented sometimes it's no so good commented sometimes no comments at all but important thing is that you have templates there that you can reuse okay so here open phone will be about reusing files since that it exists and then you're adapted okay then we move to the platform. This directory will be created after you compile open from here. You have the executables and libraries. Okay. Just after compilation. Okay. And the name that you are going to get here will depend of the compiler and extra options that you use. Okay. It doesn't matter for us. Then ASRC. This is the core of open from here. You have all the source code for everything that is happening in open from. Okay. So here you have uh organization and you will find many directories but okay the most important ones or the ones that requires a special attention is for instance this one open phone okay so this is the core library that includes containers used for in, in, in open phone not for field definitions declaration of mesh and many other operations okay you have it there then in final volume you have all the classes that will address the final volume discretization momentum transport you have the turbulence models okay there are a lot of models involved and the particular for turbulence you have it here and additionally for instance for those doing read ball in motion this is a library where you have all all the core okay of the, all the applications that address or deal with read ball in motion okay so you can enter in the source code and you can start to explore things very important do not modify the original source code installation because you are modifying 
your library so you might get strange behavior okay then we move to the tutorials very important as well because you have some basic tutorials of how to use each solver or utility so see that is subdivided kind of according to the physics see that incompressible compressible and then inside each one you will find some subdivision according to the solvers okay so highly recommend you to go and explore here however with this training also we are, you are receiving some tutorials that are different to this one okay so in our tutorials the one that we're distributing we're kind of giving you a standard practicing and default setups instead in these tutorials that comes with open phone they are just there to illustrate it how to use open phone or the specific application or library but by no means the setups that you will find here represents the best standard practices okay so be careful okay many times i see people copying a case and as they don't know very much what is going on they keep the same setup which is not good for most of the application any case later we're going to address all this stuff in, in module six that we're talking about the final volume method uh here you have some compilation structure nothing to modify or look here okay but I guess you are curious here, it's just the make files and rules how to compile. For instance, if you are doing stuff using Raspberry Pi, here you are going to find those files, how is compiling Raspberry Pi, okay? So you can modify it, whatever. Uh, okay, so that was the main installation. Okay, then we go to the user because here you have all the source code and then you have a specific user directory, okay? That is located here, okay? This is. <laughs> the actual location it will be something like that like this home open phone and the username how you log in now in your linux installation so for instance my, let's say that is dummy it will be dummy dash one okay and there you are going to put your user files so the idea here is that this one these files that you have inside this one all this stuff Okay, it's the main installation and it's not recommended to modify. If you want to modify something, you put it here, modify, recompile. So when we address later some, some programming a little bit, remember this is not about programming, but just to show you how this is done, to Illustrator will show you that. But very important takeaway, do not modify whatever you, you have here, unless you know what you are doing. Okay, so important, as you have the source code, it's very important to, to, to look for information. So when we, when we look at when, when in the video related to the bash, the shell bash, I show you this command, no find, just to, to look for files or directories, okay? So this is very useful in open phone. Also, I show you the uh, grep command, just to look for a string of text in files or directories. Okay, so this is how you can look for, for information, okay? Uh, then in open phone, okay, so things can also, this is looking for information. These are bash commands, Linux commands, but also you can combine information, no, this command. So this is a pipelining operator specific, not to the bash. So you are telling here, do this and then do this. So for instance, look for the files, and then look for this string and stuff like that. Okay, very useful for look for information. So here you have a, co a combination. So this one will tell you what applications do not run in parallel. Okay, so this is string no parallel means that does not run in parallel. So see that is looking for all files and then extract this string and show me that information. Okay, so open for understand regex syntax. Okay, so you know what is this? Look, look for this in the internet and you will see what is regex. So, <clears throat> moving to this directory etsy i want to remind you so in uh, during the, the the bash i show you that my bash rc file this is where, where you have your definitions your environment but open phone also ha has its own environment variables and you will find everything in this directory and you will have this file bash rc okay so you have that file there usually you need to modify that file but it's the one you can open, take a look, okay, at the file, this is your curious. So this is the director organization. And before moving to this topic, the directory structure of an application utility, let me show you a little bit what, what, what is happening there, okay? So here I already opened my virtual machine. Let me load open phone, okay? And just to remind you, this is the bash RC 
this is your file as a user and see that you have all these definitions there that you can use these are your environment variables but also open from etsy you have open phone environment variables okay so see that this is specific to open phone this is low automatically okay not not a problem but just to show you the your source code installation so see that for instance you go into applications you go into solvers and let me go into incompressible so this will be solver for incompressible flows and let's say let me go to piece of phone and see that this is the source code okay four files and you have a, a very robust uh now we are still solvers so as you open this file here remember do not modify the files you have the source code so in a few lines you have a solver implemented okay it seems easy but it's not that easy okay and what is important what i want to show you the, uh, this is that when you go here see that it is commented open from the, the developers they follow good standard practices when it practices when it comes to to programming and see that this comment. So here you have a description, what is happening there. Sometimes also you will find description, but also references to books or papers of what is going on. So you can go to that reference and then compare equations and see what is happening. So for examples, if I here, I go SRC, this is the core library. And let me go here, momentum transport. These are the turbulence models. I go here, let me open here and let me open this one. Okay, so this is a, this a specific turbulence model. See that you have here description and see that you have a reference it's giving you some constants, okay? So this is the power. Now, when you have the source code, you can look at what is happening. Remember, do not modify. And many times in OpenFund, you will have these references. My goal is not, is not for you or, or have in mind that it's not important for you to understand what is happening here, okay? Most of you are just users. Okay, so for it's not important this one. This requires a lot of programming experience, so I'm not going into details about that. And in the similar way, you can go to different directories, okay, and you will find out the source codes. You can read it, see what is happening there. Uh, also, to mention this one about tutorials, these are some tutorials that come with open phones. So it's, you go, for instance, compressible raw simple phone and see that you have a few tutorials here and this is the directory structure that we're going to address later okay it's a very specific directory structure so every case independently of the physics that you are addressing it is organized like this okay so see that now I move here financial okay financial phone with financial applications see that you have this this directory structure okay so that was this part now let's move to the directory structure of an application utility i just show you that with the solver piece of phone but let's see what's happening so if you go to this directory application solver you will see solver name the name of the solver and then you have this very specific now data structure okay so this is your solver application the same will be for the utility okay so you have many utilities Later, I will show you that folder. And it's something similar. You have a C file and then an H file. And usually, when it comes to solvers, you will find the comments in the .c file. When it comes to libraries or utilities, maybe you will find it here in the .h, sometimes in the .c. But open both files, and you will find there some, some information and the description comments. OK? So just to show you that again, so if I go here and notice that I'm working from the file browser, but I can do the same from the terminal, okay? So let me go here, application, application here, applications. So I show you the solvers now just to, again, to show you this one. So now I go for multi-phase interphone and see that I open the .c file and see that you have the description here. Okay, you can also open all files and you can see what is happening. So this is a little bit more complex. Okay, sometimes as you go into other files, you, you can find more comments. But usually focus here for solvers in the .c. Then you have utilities. Okay, so these are solvers and utilities can be anything from mesh creation, manipulation, post-processing, parallel, parallel post-processing. So see here that you have it, you have this division division so for instance if i go to mesh i go to generation and snappy x mesh and see that you have your dot c open this one and here you have a description okay remember i stress 
this again do not modify the source code because you are going to get into problems and read it but do not modify anything okay because then if you recompile you will encounter problems okay so this is the uh, the structure of our applications and utilities okay so now let's move to let's see the briefly what we have in OpenFone, okay? Applications utilities. And a little bit of information here. So as you go into phone solvers now, the, the directory that we enter, you are going to find this subdivision, okay? So they subdivide everything according to the physics, now specific physics that they address, okay? So you can enter there. So for instance, you enter into incompressible, then you find all these solvers. And then as you open, enter into icofen, okay, you're going to find no, this the, the 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 source code, and then you open the dot C, and then you have the description. Okay, so here, for instance, a few uh, just the the solvers that we're going to use during this training. Okay, the the one that we're going to continuously use are these: Icophone, Simple Phone, Pimple Phone, Raw Simple Phone, Raw Pimple Phone, Interphone, Location Phone, Potential Phone, Scalar Transport Phone. So. When we're talking about now the, the, the about the introduction of open phone there is no single executable and this is, tends to be a little bit confusing now because depending of the solver it is a different physics or different models that you can enable so you need to get familiar with this but it's not a big problem okay so we're going to talk later about that okay so mac guys take your time explore the source code do not modify get familiar okay but we are going to have enough time to address everything. And finally, before doing our first tutorial, let's talk about the directory structure of an open phone case. When we run the simulation, and remember I mentioned that we have this specific data structure, what is going on there? So an open phone case, by the way, you can put it anywhere in your Linux installation, whatever system, operating system that you're, you're using. Okay, there is no restriction. However, it is recommended to put everything in your user directory Okay, in this location, just to keep things in order. Well, if you want to put everything in your desktop, it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but keep things in order. So you give the case a name. Very important also, do not use spaces or phony character characters, okay? Because uh, Linux, uh, when it comes to spaces, Linux doesn't like that, or the bash, the shell bash doesn't like spaces, so please do not use spaces when naming directories or files, okay? Spaces or, or funny characters, okay? Like exclamation points, interrogation point, no question mark, stuff like that. Do not use that. Do not use those symbols, okay? So you're going to find this very standard directory structure, folder zero, constant, and system. So in zero, you have boundary initial conditions. Okay, later we're going to open that. These are human readable files. You need to manually edit these files. We're going to see that later. Then in constant, you're going to have files re related to the models that you are using, but also the mesh information. This is mesh information is automatically generated by OpenFun when you do the mesh or convert it. The only thing that here you can modify is this file boundary. Later we're going to see what you can do there. Okay, so you just need to change the name of the, surf of the boundaries, that's all, if you want to change them. Then. And here you define transport tra models. In this case, it's transport properties. So you're going to define stuff like viscosity, Newtonian model, and so on. But depending on what you want to do, you can add more models. There will be different files here. Okay, so different solvers might have different, different files here. And then in system, you have all, all the runtime control and solver numerics okay so here's how you say the order of discretization time test saving frequency accuracy whatever you set up here okay so this is the general directory structure this is the name of the files it does not change this control d file is always located in system if you don't have this file open phone will complain and it will give you a fatal error stuff like okay you cannot run you are missing this file okay so it's easy to identify those errors and then after you run you're going to have time directories okay so something that is name you know one two three four now according to the time set or iteration number okay and there you have the solution okay so this is how everything is organized this is a 
no a fixed organization it has to be always like this same name same location of the files okay so let's take a, a look at this so coming back here to your open phone installation so we talk about utilities so just let me go here just to show you there is a lot of stuff going on here so as so you go to post process and see that you have these utilities let me go back to solvers hit transfer and see that they are classified according to very specific physics and you can open then also just to mention something test here you have some simple test programs okay we'll show you how to program in open phone again it's not our focus but if you are curious you can go there so this is this is not high level programming this is programming from the from the standard classes so this might be very complicated but if you are curious this is that that is what you are going to find so let me go to tutorials now the tutorials that come to with open phone is you go to any tutorial and just let me go to financial phone now as you open here see that it has this a specific data structure all tutorials will have the same so if i go for instance electromagnetics see that same data structure and the same file see that you have control d sb skin sb solutions then you have these that are optional you go into constant see that transfer properties okay this this is a specific file required in this case remember that you might require different files and zero you have initial boundary conditions okay it's always the same again you can put these files anywhere you want so now let's go to the specific tutorials that we have in open phone so in my case is that i put it in a crazy location it's not the one i mentioned so there is no restriction let me go here and enter here so these are the cases that you, you are going to receive with the training material and i have this organization different from open phone important remember do not put why spaces okay stuff like this please avoid that because that is going to give you problem okay so is you want to, to to have like a separation use the the underscore so see that if i go here i see that you have zero constant and system these are the compulsory the rest of the directories are optional so open phone doesn't doesn't care about those directories they are optionals okay so later we're going to see how what happens when it runs and let me show you what also when i run and those time directories okay what what is happening there so i will run automatically so you have i have these automatic scripts and when later i'm going to explain that so see that open phone is running there is no graphical user interface just these text files passing on the screen after running see that you have these directories this is your actual solution so if you enter there you will see the solution but you need to open the files to visualize the colors we use part of you but at the end of the day zero initial boundary conditions the the variables that you are solving in this case okay they have a, a meaning u and p velocity pressure i go to constant see that have transport properties and momentum transport so these are physical properties if I open there, see that new and Newtonian model, and then go momentum transport. This is the turbulence model. I'm not using any turbulence model, laminar. And as you go into system, you're going to find the standard organization. So for me, compulsory are control did SB skin, SB solution. Okay. So as you open this, okay. So later we're going to dissect these files and see what is happening there. So see that whatever you put additional there doesn't matter open phone do not require so it's not going to parse that information unless you're forced to parse that okay so phone clean tutorials you clean everything and see that you go back to your standard case directory okay so later also we show you that, that command so this is the organization of the source code okay important okay just to stress it again please take your time read the source code if you want Okay, if you don't want, doesn't matter. Okay, I think you are not. It, it, it's not going to harm you that you don't read the, the source code, and most of the time you are not going to develop uh, applications. So most of the uh, you have most of the applications there that are working and they, they, they work very well. Okay, but if you feel curious, just go here and start to explore your the, the source code. Okay, that's all for for this chapter.
the next ones okay we're going to start to move into the actual tutorials and we're going to see actual applications and colors so thank you very much for your attention see you next video bye